Hey guys, Nathan from Arms of Vellum here with a semi-custom saber reveal. Um, I call it a semi-custom saber reveal because I'm here to show off a saber that I have for sale, and that is this Ultra Sabers Dark Sentinel LE V4. Now, as you can see, it's pretty well bone stock. The reason for that is this was one of the first sabers that I purchased. Um, I got it oh, well, about a year ago. Um, I was looking at different things that I could put here in my theater. We're kind of standing in it now. Uh, just to have on display. Wanted some Star Wars stuff. I've not really done anything with the room. And I'm like, well, let's put some sabers on the wall. But I wasn't really sure that I wanted to fork over the big bucks for you know something with sound something from a custom builder or anything like that. So, what did I do? I went with Ultra Sabers Grab Bags. This was one of them. The other one, which I've sold already, was a, an Initiate V4. Um, so, I kind of just wanted to give it a try. Obviously, I liked what I saw, or at least liked what I could turn these into, because I'm still doing it. But, in all honesty, this guy's a little bit too bland for me. I don't duel, so it's even though it's like perfect as a dueling saber, got great choke points. Um, I'm just it's 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 not that great a display piece for me. So so yeah, I'm I'm looking to move it. But I did do some light customization with this guy. First of all, you can see that I swapped the standard set screw with a knurled screw right there. Thing matter. That's fairly minor, but it, it does it does improve the looks and honestly it's kind of comfortable to have it there and you can kind of stick a finger around it and um, maybe it's just me from my firearm stuff, but it feels like a trigger and it's very comfortable <laughs> regardless. The other thing I've done to this is I've replaced the battery pack with one of these. USB packs. Now this one here is a 5,000 milliamp hour pack. This offers up 5 volts, 2 amps, max of 2 amps to the LED. Now this guy's got a single LED engine 5 watt uh, LED in it and I'm assuming based on what I know that it's probably running at one amp although there's some room there for some estimation because this saber was originally set up for uh, six alkaline batteries which gets me to one of the reasons that I did this conversion six non rechargeable well that kinda comes with the territory but six alkaline batteries offer up usually, well, a listed Hey guys, it's Nathan from Arms of Villain here with a semi-custom saber reveal. Now you're probably like, semi-custom? How does somebody get there? Well, I'm here today with my Ultra Sabers Dark Sentinel LE V4. As you can see, it's pretty basic. Now, there's a reason for that. When I first got into this Saber stuff, whatever you want to call it, a, about a year ago, I wasn't really sure whether or not I was going to stick with it. Um, didn't know if I would be impressed with them once I saw them in person. Um, just wasn't really sure what to buy, and I certainly didn't want to fork over the big bucks for a custom build, something with sound, and then not like it. So, what did I do? Hit up Ultra Sabers, and I went for a couple grab bags. Got this guy, and the other one I got was an Initiate V4, but it's long gone. I customized it so that it's, it's no longer here. Obviously, I liked what I saw, because I've continued to do this here in almost a year later, but um, I've got to make some room, and I don't duel, and this saber is great for dueling because it's got dual choke points, great one-handed, two-handed, whatever you have it, um, but I don't do that, and therefore it's 
doesn't really have any place in my collection, so I'm looking to move it. We're going to give a little bit of a rundown here because it does have a few custom features that make it a little bit more appealing over your standard grab bag. First of all, I've swapped out the set screw for a knurled screw for blade retention. It just adds to the look. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, and the other thing I've done is... Sounds nasty. I've replaced the alkaline or the four AAA battery um, holder with this USB battery bank. Now, why did I do that? First and foremost, the battery bank offers way more capacity than the AAA batteries do. It's rated at 5,000 milliamp hours. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, battery manufacturers fudge the numbers a lot. They also often lie. <laughs> so, um, especially especially some of the the less lesser known shops. So, chances are if I were to test this, I'm probably not going to get a full 5 amp hours out of it. But, it is what it is. The LED in this guy, it's what Ultra Sabers calls their consular green. It's a 1-up LED engine 5 watt unit from what I can tell. Um, not the brightest thing out there, but honestly, unless you've got it right next to something like a Cree XPE2, you're probably not going to know. It's, it's, it's brighter than I expected, let's just put it that way. The other reason I switched out the battery though, and it's, this relates to the LED, the LED is probably pulling and I haven't checked the resistor in here so this is all kind of nebulous, but the LED is probably pulling around 1 amp, that's what most group. Green LEDs tend to, tend to expect or have a forward voltage of around 3.7 volts to get that one amp um, of current. So, I'm guessing that that's where we are here. Now, the, re the other reason beyond capacity that I ripped out the original battery holder, the alkaline holder, and went with this guy, has to do with the voltage. Four, a pack of four um, alkaline cells wired in series as those were, provides the LED with 6 volts of energy. Now, here's the thing. LEDs have a pretty sharp voltage curve. And by that I mean when you start to use them and the capacity starts to drain out, you're looking at increasingly or decreasing voltage down to around 1 volt per cell. What that means for a saber like this is that when you put fresh batteries in, you're going to be getting around 6 volts. But, by the time those things are ready to croak, they're maybe only pushing 4 volts. That is going to result in a drastic and a noticeable difference in the brightness of the blade over that time. And um, that was one of the things actually when I first got this that I was kind of disappointed about. I was like, well, this thing's kind of dim after I've used it for a while. The alternative, if you don't want to do any wiring, is to use rechargeables. Nickel metal hydride rechargeables run at a much more consistent voltage, but they are 1.2 volts each rather than 1.5. So, for the life of those batteries, you're probably looking at, 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 at around... 4.8 volts when they're all four wired in series. Now, the other thing you run into with like with with that situation is that because all four are wired in series, you don't really gain anything in terms of capacity. And AAA batteries aren't exactly known for being high capacity cells. The rechargeables you might be looking at six to eight hundred um, milliamp hours. So in series, they're they're not they're not really offering that much. So by switching over to the USB bank, we not only get consistent voltage, we get more voltage than regular rechargeables, and 
we get a lot more capacity. So, a lot of added benefit there. I've gone ahead and kind of added some electrical tape to buffer it, but you can, it can still, still rattles a little bit. The buyer can ultimately adjust that as, as needed. We'll go ahead and turn this on. It won't include a blade. I'm not, I'm not going to include a blade. This is the uh, Sabres Starlight blade. And just to give you a little a closer look at the color, there's what you can expect with any kind of trans white blade in this guy. It is bright, but um, like I said, it's not all that interesting in a hilt, and um, somebody who is dueling is going to get, a, get far more use out of it. So I just want to show it off to you guys today, let you know that I am looking to move it. Um, I'll put a link to the listing in the description. And if you have any questions, be sure to either post them in the comments, uh, contact me through the listing, or send me an email um, over at armsofillum.net. There are a number of ways to contact me, so any of those work. Until next time, may the force be with you. I swore I never would say that.